Okay, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the y-axis origin. So first we have to apply an origin to be able to see exactly where our, our zero, zero coordinates are relative to our table. If you don't have an origin applied, it's gonna use the hard home position, which is well off the table in both directions. So first thing we're gonna do is pull up MDI mode, that's this button right here. And in here, we're gonna type the sequence for uh, applying the home button, which is parentheses, user assigned offset, comma one, parenthesis. We're gonna get confirm and run. I got an error message because I didn't do capitalized. So if we come back here and we cap locks it, user assigned offset. Confirm, run. So that you see now I have these ones here and this is now showing my coordinates because I've applied that origin number one. I'll go straight back to here and do G zero, X zero, Y zero. Now you wanna make sure that your Z is up or out of the way and that nothing is in between where your machine's at and the origin spot for Z. And then I'm gonna hit confirm and run. You can see my machine moves to the zero zero that I had previously set, which should be close to the corner of your spoil board or where your pins intersect when you put material on the table. At this point, I now have exactly the zero zero position where I run my files from. So at this point it makes it really simple. We go into axes and spindles, we turn on the MPG, that's the little handheld. We grab that. And we make sure that it's set to the Y. And I've got mine on X100. And you can see, as I move this dial, now I can really, in small increments, change where the Y axis is. And if positive, it's coming to the right, negative is going to the left. So if I wanted to adjust this and make this negative 80 thousandths, 0 0.080, I can do that right here. And I can change this down a little bit, make this to X10 if I want. And that'll make it a little slower and give me more decimals to work with. 0 .80, uh, 0 080, which is 80 thousandths, I've now moved that machine over to the left and just the y-axis 80 thousandths. At this point, to save that, all I have to do is go to origin, origin preset, changing origin number one, only changing the y-axis, changing it to zero, click OK, and you'll see that that negative 80 thousandths changed to zero. Now that's permanently saved as my zero, zero position and that's how I quickly make an adjustment in the y-axis by negative 80 thousandths. Hope this helps.